everyone so in today's video i'm going to be changing the fan on this car this is a it's supposed to be a slim four gigabytes uh, what the hell is this thing i don't even remember anyways the fan died on it it's a gigabyte card four gigabytes pci e3 but look at the look at the fan it can't it won't turn at all see so I'm gonna take that apart. I'll put the description in the title and everything. But uh, my camcorder died, so I'm sorry I had to record on my phone. Well, it didn't die, but uh, the socket where I plug in the battery charger has issues, and it's a long story. So yeah, here we go. So I'm gonna first thing is gotta get some screws and take that cover off so I can replace that fan and. The replacement fan I got it on Amazon but it's right here basically there there's three screws that hold that on there so here we go this is gonna be a short video obviously end up using a little screwdriver and removing the screws in there there's three of them this thing is more loose than my butthole. Look at that. Look how loose it is. Look, it just came off. <laughs> I don't even think it was held on there. Wow, okay. Yeah, it just like flew off. Look. You've been holding it in there. That's not cool. I guess it broke. Look at that. Wow, okay. That's not cool at all. So now I'm going to have to uh, also unplug it from here. And then we're going to have to take the shroud off too. So you want to very carefully, super carefully, take this shit off here. You gotta have patience, patience of me to get this off carefully. First, you don't want to break the clip. I should be doing this with a flathead, but you don't want to break. There we go. You don't want to break the clip, or you don't want to break. Fuck. Get my hand keeps you in that hand. You don't want to break this, or you don't want to break that. So, so basically, I just put ended up putting a putting what the fuck a, a screw right here on the edge, just this little lip right here, and then I kind of just wiggled it out. All right. So, okay. So what I ended up doing was there's two clips that hold this plastic shroud on the front of it I'm gonna show you so now some people are gonna tell you oh you gotta rule everything and take all everything off and you can do that that's your choice but there's these two clips here that hold this shroud down so what I ended up doing is like gently just squeeze them and push this up and it pops them out there's the other one down here Gently push that up. See, you heard that? Well, you probably didn't see it, but fuck. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. So gently do that. So what I, the reason I did that is so it'll give me just enough clearance to run this cable out of the way. Ah, I can't even pick the fucking fat hand. Hold on, let me readjust. Once you pick this up enough like this, it'll pop out these back little ones. But I don't like doing that because I've had them break before. That's why I didn't want to do it here. Okay, that's that's a little bit better. So I just wanted to get enough clearance, get this fan out of the way, and clear the the cable. See how oh, it's right there. So yep. let's see how this spins. And it doesn't. <laughs> you see? Well, I guess you can't see. It does not spin at all. <laughs> Let's see how the other one's been. See, the other one spins. This is me in my early 20s. This is me now. Okay, so the screws are still in there. In the, uh, whatchamacallit. So we're gonna wanna reroute this wire This way here, towards the uh, end of, towards this connect. What the fuck is this? 
towards this connector. Sorry it's all dirty here, I know, but I'm working on multiple projects at once, so bite my nuts if you don't like it. So yeah, that will connect there. So that's how it's gonna look. What out? Get the fuck out. That's how it's gonna look once that all three screws are removed. Okay, triangle. Now I could take this all apart. I don't want to because this is a quick fix on the fan. But if you need me to take it all the way apart, I can. I don't want to. There's all kinds of shit involved. I can tell you how to take the heat sink off. Do all that other stuff, which involves taking these screws off. But I need heat sink compound, and I don't have any right now on me. So I don't feel like doing all that. Anyways, so that's the bad one. Oh, fuck, that's a good one. Here we go. So here we go. So now put the wire in through there. Sometimes these, these won't fit. Sometimes you'll have to cut the old one and fix it on the new one. But sometimes they do. Most of the time they should. And these, when you pl plug these in, the they have a marker, a line. Let me zoom in so you can see. This thing will focus. You see that plastic piece? That lets you know it goes in that slot. So then, over here, you might have some extra slack on your wire. That's okay, we'll, we'll fix that here in a minute. So, I wanna position this. And I know this is counterintuitive, and I sh I'm, I'm, I'm gonna mention this in the beginning of the video, but I should have been wearing my grounding strap. But, I got this card for free, so if I, I mess it up, I mess it up. Here, the cable on the one of its little legs, it has a, a, what I call a channel, where the wires, like a guide, and that's where the wires go, see? Just like that. This is how it looks from the other side. It's fatter, the leg's fatter than the rest. See, you see that leg, skinny, fatter on this side. You have to align the thing to the thing and usually the wire one goes there Okay, that's there, then I'll do the top one. Okay, it helps to have a magnetic screw. This one actually spins. Once I get all these screws in here, I'm gonna tidy up the cable. Finding the holes, maybe. Oh, 
So we want to run this. We want to make sure this cable is under the channel there. Now you don't want to squeeze this really hard or anything. You don't ever want to put too much torque on these because it'll you'll strip them when you break them. So sometimes these cords are longer than, than the old ones or the replacement ones. So what I end up doing is I sometimes I'll just double back on the on the heat sink. Sometimes I'll just stick them in there a little bit like that. And just keep them away from the fan. I know you're probably thinking, oh, won't the heat sink get too hot and burn it? Not really. Usually this uh, wire, uh, what's this called? The uh, heat shrink tubing right here that covers the wire. It usually goes up to like 400 degrees. And this thing is not going to get up to 400 degrees. If it does, you have a problem. Way bigger problem. So... So these go in the front. Go. Take it away. Nope. Back click. That's it. It's done. Replaced. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or you can go on my Discord. We can talk about it there. Or if you have any suggestions, please leave a comment. Please like and subscribe and share and all that shit. I'm trying to go my channel i do all kinds of stuff this is pretty much a blog i do all kinds of stuff in my life i do all kinds of labs all kinds of fishing everything so this is a blog channel so i know that's why you always see random things on it so i try to entertain my viewers with all the wonderful boring shit i do and try to be helpful sometimes but anyways like share subscribe follow me love you bye and all that stuff please like and subscribe